Hi, this is Charlie. Um, I just wanted to do a quick um, video presentation of some of the things that I've been learning about the, uh, the peer group software. It's called Peer Tool Orchestra, PTO, P Orchestrator, P uh, PTO. You'll hear me use that terminology and PTC, Peer Tool Configurator. Um, what I wanted to do is just give you a a, a very brief whirlwind overview talking uh, starting with uh, Mark's presentation that he did for SEH where they were um, looking at the uh, behavior of the cell and showing you what is off the shelf for um, uh, the, the, the peer software. So Mark put this presentation together uh, a while ago for the uh, the folks at SEH to talk about the behavior of the cell as a whole um, as parts would move around it. And he was using a, uh, a single um, arm robot that showed how the cells, how the wafer is going to move through the microsense cell. Well, what I'm going to do is show you uh, the of equivalent this is an off-the-shelf demo um, for the um, uh, the PTO uh, peer tool orchestrator and so what I'm going to do this this basically shows all the overall components it is running with a full-blown simulator in the background of the machine itself and uh, I'm going to just log in here. It has full security for operators. The software is designed to build all of the non-intellectual property specific software content for driving an automation cell. So it includes all the sex gem communications. It includes modeling all of the components for moving wafers throughout the cell. It models load ports. And uh, so this is, again, something that is just completely straight out of the box. Um, up here in the left, uh, upper left-hand corner, you'll see the fact that there's logging going on, that it's, it is in a, 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 play, a position of uh, ready to load, and that a carrier has arrived. So this is part of the simulation that's running. Um, and this is an overall view of the cell. This is not a metrology cell. It, it has a single processing chamber and two load ports. And it is basically saying that there is a, a carrier here and that this is the selected load port of what's what's there. So we're gonna be working with load port one just for this very brief, um, uh, quick demo. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is this, I'm switching from the overall system view. It has the ability to create jobs. We'll see that in just a second. And within this, we can actually look inside the chamber itself to watch it as it's processing. So um, I think we're going to return to this and start a job. So here over in the left-hand corner is a symbol of a carrier that is about ready to go in. And this is modeled primary, primarily after 300 millimeter. So it is a little bit more complex in this demo in terms of how the, uh, the, the carriers are added. I've talked to them about the, the simple, simple mechanism of doing that using the fingers and the open cassette and just setting it in place. And so we're, we're, you're not going to see that. This, you're going to see a slightly more complex model. But I'm going to click this button, and then we can watch the state saying, "Okay, it's verifying the ID of the of the cassette, and it's uh, locking it in place, and it's now loaded, and it's done a mapping of the wafers within that. It has a automatic mechanism for." Uh, generating the carrier ID, and then this is wafers 1 through 25. So uh, just to sort of move through this fairly quickly, I'm going to pick, say, three wafers here and a recipe without a parameter, and uh, we're going to assign those, if I've got this correctly, and say uh, create job. So now, it, as the system administrator, I've created this job. So if we return to the overview screen, 
we should see uh, the fact that the, uh, the the single arm robot they're using it on a track has taken the first wafer out of the that's we did 25 so it's now taking the second one putting it into the aligner uh, while the chamber is there it's a vacuum process so they're basically pulling this down uh, we're doing the 20 we're starting at the top we went backwards the 25th um, one so it's showing what the recipe is and if we go to the chamber itself we can see the process that's actually going on here's temperature versus total gas flow and temperature versus power being applied as it's in the middle of this vacuum process so this would obviously not be the, the exact same model for our process it would be you know we and again we would need to have this level of detail to run it but it's showing what the what is capable when it's fully alive so now the vacuum's being released and the robot should come in and take the old wafer out there's a little exam uh, uh, an overview here um, and then the next one will, it'll take one, one out of the pre-aligner and put it into the metrology chamber and start the next process. So this gives you a very kind of a brief overview of what this looks like. And my plan is to take uh, this as a starting model and reconfigure this graphic to be uh, similar to the microsense model so it'll it'll look much more um, like the tool that uh, mark has already described to seh and is more of the standard product model that microsense will be delivering and then um, begin to configure this and then my plan is to take a single load port and do the the details of um, the interaction and connect that to the Galil itself uh, using Modbus TCP protocol, which is standard in the industry, and uh, start to fill that out so it can also get not only a microsense specific um, model for an entire tool, but also show to everyone the fact that it can go out and talk to real world hardware. Um, so again, this is just a very brief introduction. I wanted to provide this so everybody knew what it was that I was working on, and we'll go into additional details uh, as we have time available, but I know everybody's kind of packed out right now. So I just wanted to give you a quick, uh, quick intro. I hope, hope this is you.